So, good day and God bless everyone. Uh, I'm Roberto P. Barolo and I live in Princesa, Baroilano del Norte. Uh, I'm PSEE second year student in North Central Mindanao College and I'm going to report the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus. This is the subject of Jack Alec One, which is the religious experience and spirituality that is handled by Sir Edgar Arnoco. So let's start. The Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus. So the contents of this presentation has part 1 and part 2. And in part 1, it has introduction. So it has church bishop. Uh, it will introduce also the mission of the church and also their spiritual nation which has church anthem and church flag and also it will introduce the church choir and also the radio programs and in part two uh, it will talk about the church which begins in Jerusalem and also their prophecy about the church fulfilled and um, their millennial kingdom so <clears throat> In the next slide, uh, I want you. I want to share some Bible verse that is also shared on these churches from the Most Holy Church of God. Uh, it is Psalm 145, verse 13. So it states that your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures through all generations. Uh, the Lord is trustworthy in all. He promises and faithful in all he does. And in the next slide, there, there is also a Bible verse, which is Leviticus 27 verse 28. It states that, But nothing that a person owns and devotes to the Lord, whether a human being or an animal or family land, may be sold or redeemed. Everything so devote is the most holy to the Lord. That those Bible verse that I read is, shared from the Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus in their official website. When you go to their official website, you can read these two Bible verses. So, next slide. <clears throat> the Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus or the Kabanal Banalang Iglesia ng Dios kay Cristo Jesus uh, is a Christian denomination founded in the Philippines by Bishop Teofelo D. Ora in May 1922. So, si Bishop Teofelo D. Ora ang founder sa the Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus or in Tagalog which is Kabanal Banalang Iglesia ng Diyos kay Cristo Jesus in 1922. So, next slide. The church was founded by Bishop Teofelo D. Ora in 1922. Uh, he along with Abilino Santiago and Nicolas Perez uh, split off from the Iglesia ni Cristo or Church of Christ in 1922. Uh, they, they initially called their church Iglesia Verdadera de Cristo Jesus or the True Church of Christ Jesus. The following uh, religion doctrine controversy, then Nicolas Perez split off from the group and registered an offshot called the Iglesia ng Diyos kay Christ Jesus. So, haligi at suhay ng katuhanan or the Church of God in Christ, the pillar and support of the truth. So, si Bishop Teofelo de Ora ha, and Avelino Santiago and Nicolas Perez, they split off from the Church Iglesia ni Cristo and they build their own churches which is the true Church of Christ Jesus but Nicolas Perez split off because he also registered a new church. He also built his own church, which is called the Church of God in Christ Jesus, the pillar and support of the truth. So, in the next slide, so Bishop Salvador C. Payawal. So, si Bishop Salvador C. Payawal, uh, who led the church from 1969 until... 1989. So these are the bishops who led the Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus from 1969 
until 1989. So, si Bishop Salvador C. Payawal. And the next slide, which is Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal, who also lead the church from 1989 until 2003. So, si Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal ang mipuli ni Salvador C. Payawal. Bishop Salvador C. Payawal. From 18... Uh, from 1989 until 2003. So, it was during Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal tenure when the church was renamed as Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus. So, from Bishop Diofelo de Ora from 1922, which is, ang name sa church is the Church of Christ. Then, when the time come that Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal, who led the church, uh, it is renamed from Church of Christ to Most Holy Church of God in Christ Jesus. So, it was Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal tenure when it is renamed. So, in the next slide, uh, Bishop Isagani N. Capistrano. So, Bishop Isagani N. Capistrano led the church from 2003 until present. So, he has a spiritual name which is Bro Hill. So, si Bishop Isagani and Capistrano ang mipuli kay Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal from 2003 until present. So, next slide. Uh, the mission of the church. So, the mission of the church is to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven to the whole world. All the nations produce fruits, care for and ensure the fruits last and become one holy nation. So make Christ Jesus their Lord with hope and agape in God. So the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus is the seed of one world, one nation which will be fulfilled in due time as promised by God most high. So, then the next slide. Uh, it is also uh, the mission of the church. So, they, we will accomplish our mission by being an exalting community. So, we are a community of believers who seek to glorif glorify our God and enjoy Him through God-exalting worship that engage both head and heart. God-exalting preaching that points people to the greatness of of our God, uh, God exalting prayer that expresses a humble reliance on our God alone, uh, God exalting lives that are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Next slide. So, encouraging community. We are a community of believers who seek through the exercise of the Spirit gifts to build each other up in our most holy faith through small groups. Uh, public testimonies, group activities, and retreats that facilitate deep faith and strong friendship, and also prayer meetings, shepherding, and visitation. So on the next slide, which is equipping community, uh, we are a community of believers who seek to equip the body of Christ of kingdom work by teaching uh, the biblical truths through Sunday school, youth groups, men and women Bible studies, uh, instruction in family leadership and family worship, and also family and marriage counseling. So, it has also an engaging community. Uh, we are a community of believers who seek to engage our community uh, with the truth and the love of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus through abortion clinic prayer and counseling, uh, elderly care facility visitation, uh, skeptic forums, uh, mission trips, active support uh, of local and foreign missions, and also opening our homes to our neighbors and the uh, need and the need the, and also facilitating and encouraging bold and creative outreach by all our members and cultivating gospel relationships with the lost so those four missions are accomplished by the most holy church of god in christ jesus which is the exalting community 
encouraging community, equipping community, and last but not the least, is the engaging community. So, in the next slide, which is spiritual nation, uh, church anthem. Just like the other nation in this lowland, uh, the church as a spiritual nation has its own anthem. Uh, the Psalm of Zion, which is based on 1 Peter 2, verse 9 to 10. So, 1 Peter 2, verse 9 to 10 states that, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special position, uh, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. So, once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So on the next slide, which is the church flag. So the church flag is made up of three colors, each which is symbolize an aspect of the church. So as you can see here, there is a flag, which is uh, the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus flag. So, the color here is red, which symbolizes the love of God. Uh, the white, which is symbolizes the holiness. And yellow, which also symbolizes the faith. So, next slide. So, the church flag. The flag is based on the design of the Philippine national flag, having a white triangle with its base at the ho hoist and by color field. So, in this case, gold and red, the church seal in the triangle. So, the seal on the flag has a gold eagle on the top clutching a white arcing ribbon with red uppercase letter reading Kabanal Banalang. So, beneath the ribbon is a ring formed by a gold cord on the outer edge and a gold chain on the inner edge. Voided white with red uppercase letter reading, Iglesia ng Dios. In the upper half and kay Cristo Jesus in the lower. Within the ring is a gold upright anchor and a background voided white. So, in the next slide, which is the Agape Choir, is the name of the choir from Vision of Kelal, which is Pampanga and Bataan. And later on, was used to become the name of the church national choir. So the choir ministry selected individuals to become the national church choir from the members of different special division choir, the namely the Panatag Choir from the Mission Metro Manila, uh, the Spirit Field Choir from the Division of Rizal Cabiti Laguna, uh, Sang Himig Choir from the Division of Pampanga and Bataan, and also the Maranata Choir from the vision of Bulacan. So, next slide, which is their radio programs. Ang Kabanal Banalan is the church evangelist radio program which aim to preach the gospel of the kingdom of God or kingdom of heaven on a wider reach and airs on the following radio station in the Philippines. So, these are the radio station name, which is the DWL1242 kilohertz am but every wednesday at 9 10 pm and sunday 4 to 6 pm so it has also the kiss fm 95.1 lucena city every monday wednesday thursday and friday 7 to 7 30 pm and saturday 7 to 9 pm also the yes fm 104.1 ordaneta city every Saturday at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So, in the next slide, which is church beginning in Jerusalem, so the visible church traces her beginning in Jerusalem. The Lord Christ Jesus began preaching in the first century. He promised to build his church, which he, he did, as approved by the persecution of the church. The church was built on the foundation Christ, who is the chief cornerstone. And the apostles, including Simon Peter, as the pillars. So the believers who were scattered with persecution broke out against the church, preached the words of God wherever they went and proclaimed the Christ, the power and the wisdom of God. So next slide. Prophecy about the church fulfilled. 
So the prophecy of the Lord was fulfilled with the formation of the church in May 1922 in the Philippine Island, now Republic of the Philippines, through his instrumental shepherd or pastor, Bishop Teofelo de Ora. This was after World War I and the, the year when the League of Nations formally comes to being January 10, 1920, which goals included disarmament, preventing war through collective security, settings dispute between countries through negotiation, diplomacy, and improving global welfare. So next slide. This signaled the fulfillment of prophecy when people will yearn for peace. Peace when there is no peace. After this momentous event in this lowly world, the people of the Lord are asked to look and ask where the good way is and walk it where they will find rest for their souls. So this was the same way which Paul persecuted, which is really in the church. That is why in the year 1921, Bishop Teofelo de Ora started to preach the gospel and became the instrument of God in establishing the church in the Philippines. So she was called Iglesia Verdadera de Cristo Jesus or the truth, the truth, the true church of Christ Jesus or in short Christians so in the next slide it was not until 1935 that the name church of God in Christ Jesus was revealed to Pius Decons de de from the province of Bulacans which is about 70 km per second north of Manila Island of Luzon in the Philippines name Sis Mercedes Verde and actually used in that same year through one of the minister of the church. So bro Marcelo Cabayan, when Bishop T. Ora died in 1969, Bishop Salvador Payawal took over as the church bishop. So Philippine Island Church of God in Christ Jesus was registered in 1979 as the name to emphasize that the church was established in a place described by Prophet Isaiah. So in the next slide, so the prophecy about the church fulfilled, it was during the accession of the Carmen Church, Bishop Gamaliel T. Payawal, or his spiritual name is Bro Nizea, in 1990, when the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus was affected. So the march toward perfection is a change process in itself. So, and this process shall continue until the promises are fulfilled in the church, which the Lord Christ Jesus has established as his spiritual body, which is the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus. So, next slide. So, the millennial kingdom. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection, on such a second death had no power, but they shall be prized of God and of Christ and shall reign with him for a thousand years. So, it's a Bible verse from Revelation 20, verse 6, and also in verse 4. So, in the Lord timetable, the system of man was allowed to rule of 6,000 years creation. Everything on earth, including man, was created in six days to the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> the period of creation signifies the span of times, which is six days is equal to 6,000 years. So the system of man will rule on the seventh day is the day of rest, which is called Sabbath, from the Hebrew word Shabbat, meaning to the rest by the Jews. So there remains, therefore, then an, uh, one day Sabbath rest for the people, the nation of God. For anyone who enter God rests also rests from his own work just, a God, just as God did from his. So let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one will fall by following their example of their Israel disobedience. So the Sabbath therefore is 1000 years millennium in Latin or the seventh day. So, this often referred 
to us the millennial kingdom where in Christ and his body or the church will reign to effect the system of God. It is referred to as a period of rest because true peace will prosper for a just system will prevail. So in the next slide, which is the end of the world, the second coming of Christ Jesus, and the first resurrection of the dead. So our three related events, the second coming of the Lord, will mark the end of the world and will also be the first resurrection of the dead. So the Holy Scripture said that after two days, He will revive us in the third day, He will raise us up, and we shall live in His sight. Then shall we know if we follow unto know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning, and He shall come unto us as the rain, as, as the latter and former rain, unto the earth so the first resurrection of the dead will happen after two days meaning after two thousand years so the latter and former rain was meant to be in the first month so the end of the worldly government and system will mark the beginning of the millennial kingdom when god most high with which will ring for a thousand years Anyone who resists being ruled over <clears throat> would be slain, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eye, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away, and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. So, these three different but related future events are revealed through which made known to the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus. So, that's all their prophecy, beliefs, and faith of the most holy church of God in Christ Jesus. So, if you want more information, you can go to their official website which is www.themostholychurch.com and that's all for today's topic which is talks about the most holy church of god in christ jesus in the subject of jack elect one which is religious that handled by sir edgar c arnoco thank you for listening and god bless everyone